The other day I made a video of advice for young people and some things came up. So now I have some advice for parents and uh, older people who are just talking about the younger generation in general. So something I hear a lot is uh, something that goes something like this. You younger generation, you kids, you don't know how good you have it. When I was your age, I had to clean out the gutters every week. I had to mow the lawn. And one time, my dad dragged me six miles through the snow so we could pick up the mail because the roads were closed. You don't know how good you have it. Sitting there on the couch watching your TV, playing your video games, you don't know how good you have it. Excuse me while I roll my eyes. <clears throat> All right. So people say this kind of stuff. I have to presume because they're not really thinking about what they're saying. Like they've heard other people say it. They've seen it on the TV. They just heard this a lot. And they think, oh, well, this is just what you say to kids, right? All right. Parents, you got to think about what you're doing, what you're saying. So let's take this example and pull it apart. First, you've just told your kids that the good thing to do is to sit there and watch TV or sit there and watch video games or, or do nothing. That's, that's the good life. That's what you're supposed to do. And then when your kids do it, you yell at them. Let's just say that again. Your kid does exactly what you tell them to do and you yell at them for it. Oh, no, Jamie, you don't understand. That's not what I meant. Oh, oh, are you sure? Are you sure I'm not understanding this right? Or maybe, did you just not think about what you were doing? You got to think about what you're saying. This is psychological abuse, to tell someone to do something and then yell at them about it. And then make them feel like it's their fault. This is psychological abuse. Like, 100%. Stop doing that. Think about what you're saying to your kids. <clears throat> now let's look at the, the other part of this. When I was a kid, I had to go up there and clean the gutters every week. And you don't have to do that, so you have it so good. Life was so hard for me because I had to clean the gutters. So life was so hard for you because your parents made you go clean the gutters. They spent time, they dragged you up there and said, here, this, 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 do this. They showed you how to do it. They made you, oh, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't make me do it. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, they didn't make me do it. I just did it. Oh, oh, when you were 12 years old, you were just this paragon of virtue who saw the gutters and spontaneously said, those need to be cleaned. Now, if you were doing it when you were 12 on your own, it's because when you were nine, your parents made you do it. They spent time getting you to do things and they were teaching you the value of hard work and they were, they were giving you all these lessons. They were spending time. Do you think they couldn't have done it themselves? <clears throat> Faster? No, they were spending time making you do these things to teach you lessons, to make you learn the value of hard work. And maybe they gave you a quarter every time you did it to teach you about money and stuff like this. Do you think when your dad said, get your boots on, grab a snack, let's go, and then walked three miles to the post office with you through the snow and picked out the, the least important letter and gave it to you, and made you feel it like it was the most important one, and then you walked home to deliver the mail, do you think you were actually helping? Or do you think your dad said, well, this is going to take two to three times as long. However, I'm going to be investing in my child's future. So let's go. <clears throat> and then to tell your kid that they're better off because you're not doing that. You're telling them that not being a parent is better than being a parent. So they're better off because you're not giving them all these lessons. That's kind of messed up. <clears throat> and you're teaching them that it's better to be lazy and it's better to not, not get your kids to do things. And, and parents go around giving themselves all kinds of excuses today. About, well, it's, I'm against ch child labor. Child labor is not a good thing, so I, I'm not making my children do anything because that would be child labor. Or do you just really 
feel like going to changing the oil in your car by yourself because if you take your kid with you, it's going to take three times as long. And you don't have the free time. You know how you get some free time? I'm going to say one of the same things I said to, to the younger generation. How about get rid of your TV? Most people will get hours of free time per day by getting rid of the TV. Oh, but I can't miss my show. Uh, yeah, you can. Because like half the time you turn the TV on just, just for a minute and then four hours later you're like, ah, what just happened? I don't even know what I just watched. You just wasted time. Just get rid of the TV and say to your kid, hey, I'm going to change the oil in my car. Come with me. I'll show you how to do it. Come on, it'll be fun. You'll learn something. It'll be cool. And then when your kid gets a car, <clears throat> instead of driving around with the oil light blinking, destroying the engine, they're going to know what to do. Oh, this means you don't get to scream at them when they wreck the car. Oh, woe is me. You won't get to scream at them. That's a good thing. That should be a good thing. You're not supposed to have kids so you can pat yourself on the back because you're better than them. And that's what's been going on generation after generation. Every generation raises worse kids so they can pat themselves on the back and say, you kids have it so good, you're so lazy and blah, blah, blah. And we're so amazing. Oh, yeah. And meanwhile, the generation above them is doing that to them. Yeah, you got to break the cycle somehow. Like this is just, it's like a... It's like a snowball going down a hill. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. And you just got to figure out how to stop it. Get rid of your TV. Start start doing stuff with your kids. So if you get rid of your TV, what are you going to do? Everyone in the house is going to be like, oh, we have nothing to do. Do you have a Frisbee? Can you get a Frisbee? Is there somewhere outside you can go and play Frisbee? Or even play Frisbee in the house, which is sometimes kind of fun, except then you break stuff. <clears throat> Well, you can't play Frisbee all day, right? Well, maybe instead of ordering takeout every day, you can make food together. You can make dinner together. And then your kids will learn how to cook. And, uh, oh, and guess what? You also save a bunch of money by not ordering takeout by making the food yourself. And you save a bunch of money by not, not having cable. So you get all this extra time and money that you can invest in your kids and your relationship with them. I swear to you, I promise, it is more rewarding than watching TV. All right, I have to go do some stuff with my kids. You know, whenever I make these videos, I'm always talking to myself more than I'm talking to anyone else. And then this morning, I went to make some juice, as I often do by myself, and I realized I'm missing an opportunity here. So I got one of my kids to come help, and we squeezed oranges and lemons and star fruit together and made some juice. And now my juice has love in it. Oh, this, this is so much better.